All right, Shalom, Rastafari, this is the part two, and we think we'll call this that Ja, right? Ja is not from Jabalan. You know what I'm saying? Ja is not from Jabalan. I mean, the, the simple answer to this, you know, the simple response, the direct response to this is Psalm 68, verse 4, King James Version of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And that's the Bible that early Rastafari and even I and I still utilize in the English language. But this page right here that's called Torah Code 2012 by someone named, I think, Midbar Nesher, uh, and it's under a title, Hada Selassie was a Freemason, then he put a question mark. You know, it's very dubious the way they, so they're saying that he was one, but they put a question mark, and so saying, was Hada Selassie a Freemason? You know what I'm saying? So they're basically telling, they're suggesting that they're telling that he was, but then as a plausible deniability, they're adding a question mark. You've got to watch out for folks like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, there's, there's really something like devious right there. But then when we get to this portion of it, so we was in the Tyre and the Ethiopia mystery, right? When we get to this uh, area of it, it says that um, Rastafari, it has been suggested. Who suggested it? Who suggested? Did the author suggest this? Who, who is the one that suggested this? You understand? Concerning Rastafari, you understand that the Rastafari word for God, right, which is Ja, you understand, is from the term Jabulun, you understand? In other words, what they're trying to do, you understand, is deceive you. Mm-hmm. And they're counting on the fact that you probably don't know anything and are very suggestible. They're speaking to suggestible people because anybody who really looks at that will say, wait, um, the Rastafari said Ja based on Psalm 68, right? And if we go right here, do we have Psalm 68, right, from Psalm 68, verse 4? And there you go right there. You understand? Sing to God. Now, we don't say unto because un, we don't say you and to because un means unclean, undone, unkind means not. So that's something that word, sound, and power. You know, I mean, the mature Rastafari recognize that word, sound, and power. You know, so we don't say unto, we say to. So, so when you're reading the King James Bible, you have to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay in that holy state of mind. You know what I'm saying? So you can separate the errors from it. So it's not unto God, but it says sing to who? Sing to God, right? Sing praises, or we, or we say Isis, to his name. That's what we sing. We sing praises to the Hashem, the Ruku. We sing praises to Kedamawi Haila Shalasi, to the first power of the Trinity, to the God and Father, our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Right? Rastafari. Yes, I. Right? So it says, Extol him that rideth upon the heavens. Now, if you read in some of the, the Tehillim, it will say through the deserts. It's a very interesting kind of metaphor. You understand? Kind of like the metaphor there. It must be really overstood in its, um, you know, mythological concept. The deserts are likened to the heavens, you know, the dust, the clouds, so forth and so on. But it's saying right here, by his name, right? And, and what name do we have? We have Ja. You understand? Can you see that? Or, or do we need to, do we need to Maguia? Let's Maguia that, right? Let's Maguia that right there. Do you see that right there? Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is the Bible, right? This is right here. This is the Bible, right? Do you see that right here? Before his name, Jah, right? And that's the 3050, right? Now, of course, in the Hebrew, you understand it's Yah, but, but the J being created is not our fault. You can basically go to the Jesuits, because they said the Jesuits created the J, you understand, in the English language, so forth and so on. At least that's what has been suggested. But be that as it may, this author or this writer or this um, slanderer right here is saying that Rastafari it has been suggested, right? Rastafari it has been suggested that the Rastafari word, I mean, how this person write? Rastafari it has been suggested that the Rastafari word for God, ja, comes from the term Jabulun, right? Comes from the term Jabulun. This is what they're saying right here, right? This is what they're saying right here. Maybe we marvel at that too. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we make that a little bit larger as well so you can 
so you can see that as well. So let's see if we can make this page a little bit larger. All right, so we can go down here, right? Okay, here we go, right here. Uh huh. Okay, let's bring that down. So they're saying Masonic Reagan, right? Masonic Reagan. You know, so we can see that the the blasphemy now of the of those who dwell in heaven, in the heavens has occurred and is occurring, right? Is occurring right as prophecy and just as prophecy says. So it says Rastafari. It has been suggested that the Rastafari word for God. It's not the Rastafari word for God. You understand? What kind of foolish people are these? You understand? Right there, you see Jah, right? King James Bible, Psalm 68, verse 4. There's one reference in the whole King James Bible, Jah. It's like saying that the, the, the word Jehovah, you understand? It's like if they did that with Jehovah, people, Christians would say, are you crazy? Are you sick? You understand? You, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's Bible right there. At least that's the Bible that they read, you know, in the King James Version. So it's not the Rastafari that have derived this from Jobelin. Most of us don't know anything about no Jobelin. You said we, we've heard about Jobelin from these Europeans and the, all this Freemason talk and all this crazy kind of demonic activity. That's how we got to find out, you know what I'm saying, about this Jobelin. You know what I'm saying? And so what they're trying to do is blame us for what they have done, or, or, or put their sin, in a sense, on us. Let's, let's understand that. So in the first part, we had actually left off, mm, we actually had left off on the Queen of Sheba and Holy Son, uh, Holy Son Menulik, because we wanted to deal with this word right here, suggested. You know, when you see how they write these things, it has been suge suggested by who? By you? Um, Midbar or whatever your name is, whatever you call yourself, Midbar Nesher, you understand, know whatever you call yourself, you know. And then they go on to say that um, Jabulun, right here, for Jabulun, Jabulun, right, either J-A-H or J-A, is a word which was used historically in some rituals, some rituals of the Royal Arch Masonry. They should say, really more correctly, the European, or maybe even English, you understand? Royal Arch Freemasonry. Then they go to, according to Francis X. King, it is also used by the Ordo Templi Orientis rituals, you understand, the leadership of Alistair Crowley. Listen, 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 li listen. I and I don't have anything to do with Alistair Crowley or Crowley or whatever you want to call his name. That's a whole different order. That, yeah, that's a whole different right. I and I is of the Nazarite or the Netzerite. You understand, of that branch. You understand, we're of the Ethiopic branch. You understand, we're not of some so-called European branch. As mad he's not one of your little Freemasons. You understand, and we're going to deal with you point by point. But they want to say, well, what about the hand sign? You understand, because they show a picture of Angela Merkel. You understand, but notice, before his majesty, you don't see this hand sign. In fact, even in his uh, Alistair Crowley writings, and you see this in that guy Tex Mars book, you know, talking about, about symbols, magica, codex magica, and, and he has something called the, the hands of practicus or the practicus hand sign. All of that is what Alistair Crowley made up. You know, saying Alistair Crowley made all this stuff up. So this is recent stuff. This is how they hostilely take over black incorporation, you know, saying, and, 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 and black institutions, just like they whitewashed the Jesus picture. You know what I'm saying? Just like hip hop. It's like if somebody would have come along and say, Yes, um, the best hip hop artist is Eminem. The one who started hip hop, you understand? Or real hip hop is Eminem. It, it, it's kind of the same sort of thing that they do. You know what I'm saying? And when lost black sheep or people don't know themselves, you know what I'm saying? They buy into this very, very easily. You know what I'm saying? Because the word says, Hosea said, that my people perish because of lack of what? Knowledge. They don't know themselves. So, therefore, they become very suggestible. Now, it, you know, it goes on. I mean, look what they say right here. Let's, let's, let's move this over. There we go, right there. If we can get that. Uh, there we go. Um, Rastafari religion, they say, right, derived from this branch of Freemason. You are a liar. You know what I'm saying? Rishatam. You know what I'm saying? Rastafari doesn't derive from a branch of Freemasonry. Are you sick? Are you stupid? You understand? I mean, really, are you a fool? 
first of all, we, we prove the fact that John is in the Bible. You understand? And every um, link that you will find, historical documenting and Rastafari is pretty well documented. You understand? We'll always point to the Rastafari elders or ones and ones pointing to Psalm 68, verse 7. Now they want to say, well, because this brother here is named Mason, you understand? Oh, look, he's a Mason. He must be a Mason. Rastafari, see, what they're trying to do is slander us. You understand? Demonize us. Let's wake up to this, brothers and sisters, and let's, let's be on point. About, about, you remember what the word says about um, 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 to, to uh, uh, be, be zealous, you know what I'm saying, to be zealous and to the, the, defend you know, the faith that was once delivered to the saints. If you go to Jude, let's go to Jude for a moment in the Bible. And Jude is Judah. It's like saying that Jude in the New Testament, which is Judah, is like saying, oh, that's Judas. It is Judas, but not the Judas that you will think. It's not Judas Iscariot, you understand? But it's a whole different Judas, Judah or Judas or Yehuda, and he was the brother of Yaakov or the brother of James. I'm just pointing that out. That's the same kind of thing they'll do, and people will believe it because they're ignorant, or ignorant, if you please. It says, Beloved, my brothers and sisters, when I gave all diligence to write to you of the common salvation... It was needful for me to write to you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the what? The faith, the Ritua Hymenos, for the Tawahido faith, the true faith of his divine majesty, which was once delivered to the Kedusan, which was once delivered to the Holy Ones. But now, it's interesting because the next verse says, right, this is the occasion of the epistle speaking about the apostasy. It says in verse 4, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace, the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God, right, and our Lord, Jesus Christ, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know, now, what's so very interesting about this as well, like, let's look at this right here. So you see John Mason there, right? And we touched on this in the first part, right? Well, this is kind of, this is kind of large right here. So you already see that. We can back out of this a little bit. You understand? So you can see this more center, center square, right? Okay, let's move that over. There we go, right? Now, I don't know if you can see this very well, but you can go to your Blue Letter Bible and look up Tyre, right? Because we were touching on the Tyre mystery. When, when, when John says, when Yah says that he who be, right, when he says in Psalm 87, he will make mention to those who know him. You see, those who are ignorant of him don't see these connections. Those who know him see these connections. So when we look at, say, uh, uh, a picture or whatever like this right here, right? Actually, go go a little further up. When we look at even this picture, we're gonna get into that hand sign. Cause notice, before His Majesty, you don't see that. After His Majesty, you see that. They can't point to any so-called old European Freemasonic orders or whatever doing that particular hand sign. They can't. But now that his majesty has come and already that great luminary, you understand, who's likened in splendor to the sun and in his, in his, um, in his divine and uh, in, in, in his exalted power to the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Moab, and Bethlehem, and Yehuda, in his divine person to the kings of Israel, and sometimes to God himself. And brothers and sisters, we, 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 these are times like that. Mm-hmm. These are times like that. So notice even how they ask the question, how does Selassie was a Freemason? Really, if you read that, your mind would tell you it's a statement. It's a declaratory statement. But then they put the question mark there to confuse you. You understand? You know, that's a high level of, of psyops. Remember, in the beginning was the word, word, sound, and power. You understand? That's why the scripture says to study and show thyself approved to God as a workman, right? A workman. 
like a mason, a carpenter, a stone quarrer, a hewer, you understand, a, a, someone who does work, you understand, someone who does John's work, you understand, so therefore John does have his masons, but for you to associate perversely, you understand, the, you, you put in the cart in a sense before the horse, this is what they do when they try to suggest these sort of things. Because we know that the order of his majesty, the order of Ethiopia, the order of Africa, you know, is a much older order before there were even modern um, clean lepers or Europeans. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a, that's a fact. You know, they, they're speaking that. They said that the black, it has dominant genes, you know what I'm saying, with the melanin, and that the white has recessive genes. You know what I'm saying? And that all people came out from the black sea, you know what I'm saying, all these all really people, people, you know what I'm saying, came out from that particular seed, you know what I'm saying, and all the science and, and everything basically proves what the word already says is true, you know what I'm saying, so, the Tyre, you know what I'm saying, the English queen represents Tyre, right, the king of kings represents Ethiopia, so if you understand Psalm, right, if you understand Psalm 87, it will be very, very clear. You know what I'm saying? It'll be very, very clear where we're at and what's going on. And maybe it gets deeper than that, but we want to just keep this on this particular level right here and just address the fact that now they show these pictures right here, Scottish rites, right? They show all these kind of pictures. This is a Scottish rite. But show me the Nazarites. You can't show me the Nazarites because they're not Nazarites. They're bald heads. You know what I'm saying? crazy bald heads. You know, not just physical ball here, but their ball of that illumination of their mind. You know what I'm saying? Then they talk about right here the Duke in, in Ethiopia in 19, what, 50, 58. You might check that out, the British royal family. So it says right here that Hala Selassie and his favorite hand symbol was also used in the Rasta movement. That is correct. Well, Rastafari movement. You know what I'm saying? And we understand that this hand, this hand sign is actually Tiferet. Mm -hmm. we, we, we pointed it out recently, didn't we? We showed you how that was Tiferet. Because the Jews who call themselves Jews have a Kabbalah. You know what I'm saying? And Yeshua HaMoshiach, he is the true Kabbalah. Because we have to Kabbalah his word. You know what I'm saying? That word to become flesh and dwell amongst us. You know what I'm saying? So that we will, we will overcome. Because all authority is in Yeshua's hand. Now they go on to say, um... A uh, Masonic hand symbol. You know what I'm saying? They show you this. You know what I'm saying? And then they show you this right here. And you say, oh, look at that. Now it says Angela Merkel, who some say that Angela Merkel, some claim, and, and we haven't verified this, you know, it's speculative at, at best. It's not conclusive yet. You understand? Know if it ever can be. But they say Angela Merkel. You know what I'm saying? Say, see, see, look, she's doing this hand sign. There's a female sorority which also does this hand sign. You can look it up. There's a, there's a European uh, um, Anglo-American female sorority. We forgot what their code Greek letters are. You, you know, what their Greek alphabet letters are. But there's a female sorority that does this too. You understand know this particular hand sign? And they interpret it. You have to remember that things are interpreted. It's like saying that the color red is the devil, so you never wear the color red. It's like saying that Satan has an S in his name, so you're not going to use the letter S. You know what I'm saying? But Satan has an A in his name, so you use the letter A. Satan has a T in his name, so you don't use the letter T. He has another A, don't use A twice. He has the N, don't use the word N. Can you imagine what happens? This is exactly the kind of, of psyops, of spiritual warfare that they are doing to unstable and unlearned people. You know what I'm saying? So this is why, you know what I'm saying, this is why we have to speak, and this is why others have to speak up too. Because we have a lot of informants, other brothers and sisters who, who have been searching and piecing together a lot of the pieces of this. And they just need to do a vid like this, post it out there, and let's get this circulated, download these videos, put them together on DVDs, distribute them for, for, a, for an honest, you understand, an honest price, you understand. And get it moving, brothers and sisters. You need I and I permission? Well, I and I, in a ras, Yadino Seferi, has given the I, our brothers and sisters, the permission to do so. Download these videos, put them together, you understand, and distribute them. Let others watch them, check them out, study them. You know, we have to make hay while the sun shines. We've got to redeem the time because the days are evil, very, very evil. So what they're trying to say here is that Angela Merkel, Right, Angela, 
Angela Merkel, right? And his Illuminati hand symbol. So what are they saying? They're trying to eat, eat. You know what they're suggesting? It's more suggestion. It's more suggestion, right? So now they show his imperial majesty doing the very same hand sign. Who was first? Don't put the cart before the horse. If you put the cart before the horse, then it's not forward ever, but it's backward to never, never land. You know what I'm saying? Backward to never, never land. You know what I'm saying? So here they show a picture of his imperial majesty, and they try to suggest here, well, you see his hand sign. Mm -hmm. You see Angela Merkel do the same hand sign. See, see? That's what I'm see, see? But you have to study, and it says see, see. It says study and show thyself approved to God. You know what I'm saying? To Jah, if you please. To Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? To he will be who he be to his divine majesty. You know what I'm saying? Study to show yourself approved. Now they even say here, they say that Hannah Selassie hand, or oh, Masonic hand of Selassie. Masonic hand of Selassie? You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, do you, what are they trying to suggest right here? Mm -hmm. No, this is the hand of Amsu Hor. Amsu Hor. We're going to ancient Egypt. We're speaking about the Amsu right here. They don't understand that because they don't understand the real roots. They don't understand the true roots. You know, since our roots, Ethiopia roots, are much deeper. This is why they keep discovering things all over the world. You know, it's like the European is like somebody who just got, you know, like a, like, like a kid who gets to get out the house. You know what I'm saying? He's gone to different places. He's discovering things, but then he is in, he's misinterpreting it from his own arrogant perspective as though he is first and recognizing that he picked up something, you know, what I'm saying? and he just reverse engineered it. You know what I'm saying? Modern Freemasonry is ver reverse engineering of the ancient Ethiopic and the Hebraic roots, our Afro-Semitic roots. You know what I'm saying? So don't be confused. Don't be deceived. Now they show this right here. You understand? So Winston Churchill, and we know about what he was about. You know what I'm saying? We understand that. For all of them, just like the demons were submissive to Solomon, a greater than Solomon, now, they show these hand signs. This is why I wanted to go right here. Let me show you this while we have, we have a, a limited amount of time in this clip right here. All right, well, this is the meso right here. Right? We wanted to teach on this for another purpose right here, and that's the English monarch or the English queen right there. Let's go to this one right here. You notice something about this? Now, you'll notice something right here. This is, this is a normal hand sign or handshake. Right? This is a normal handshake. Look at this right here. You see this? This is a normal handshake, brothers and sisters. This is a normal handshake. And you'll find that. This is what you will find with His Majesty. You don't find Him doing these, these Scottish and Yorkish rites. You understand? Did He ever receive anything from a Scottish or a York rite? You understand? We have, we have the list of the orders. And the orders are Christian knight orders. Ancient Christian knight orders and European and Europe, they had got rid of the Christian thing. Like what's going on in America? They took the Bible out of the classes. You know, even though it had the biblical foundation, who did this? Black people? No, their own people did this. And their own people are doing this. You know what I'm saying? So this is a normal handshake. And this is why we want to show you this right here. Just one example. One example amongst many, you know saying, that all this Freemasonic mumbo jumbo concerning his majesty. You understand? The only right his majesty is of is the Nazarite. You understand? The true Nazarite. You always know, say, well, what about the red right there on the crown? If you know anything, go back to Egypt. You recognize the red. You understand? You recognize the red. There was the, the what was the Dudashet? You understand? The red crown. You understand? The south and north, upper and lower, so forth and so on. All right? So this is a you know, they try to make you think that there's no black people, you know what I'm saying, there's no black power that is above white supremacy. You know what I'm because the, the demonic entity, you know what I'm saying, and entities, you know what I'm saying, and fallen angels, let's touch on that too. Let's, let's not forget about that in this clip. So it's not this sort of hand sign, you know what I'm saying, secret European hand sign. See, that's what it is. European Satanism. Now they're trying to blaspheme I and I. They're trying to say that, that it has been suggested that the Rastafari word for God, Jah, comes from the term Jabalim. No, it doesn't. It comes from Psalm 68, verse 4. Who's responsible for that? You know what I'm saying? Then they link Alistair Crowley here. 
Then they make the biggest lie before they end off. They always do that. At the end, they try to soft soap it, and then they try to drop a big one. You know what I'm saying? Try to give you the head fade, right? And down here, they say the Rastafari religion, they, they claim, derived from this branch of Freemason. This is a lie, brothers and sisters. Get on top of this. You know what I'm saying? Repost this. Do your own vids on this. You know what I'm saying? Put up your own blog pages to repudiate this. You know what I'm saying? This is a lie. You understand from the pit of hell. You understand because the Jabulan, all that 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 garbage comes from a, a made up European legend about Hiram Abyss, right? About Hiram Abyss. You understand because when we look in our Bibles or in the Bible, right? We find right here that those Hiram, right? Hiram, king of Tyre, that sent messengers, right? That sent messengers to who? To David. Right, let's let, let's see if we could bring this up more front and center so you can see this, so that people in the back will see this as well. Right, he sent messengers to who? To David. Right, and we went through this in the part one. After we saw this, we said we had to get right on top of it. Right, and, and notice who were, who dwelt there, the Canaanites. Now, if you look at this word, Canaanites is the merchant, the old time pirates. Yes, they sold out. Right, right, sold out to the merchant ships. Right. After they took eye from the bottom pit, and they call it the abyss, the abyss, the Abyssinia. You see that link right there in that, um, in that, in that, in that nomenclature that they use among the Mohammedans. First used it, Habasha, the mixed people. You know what I'm saying? Because of the Afro-Shemitic mix, but both the Afros and the original Shemites were black people. If you were to see them today, just like looking at his imperial magic, you're seeing black people. So you see right here in 2 Samuel 5.11 that Hiram, not Hiram Abiff, make sure you make a, make a note of that, not Hiram Abiff. Hiram Abiff, this is what confuses a lot of folks. They don't know, they don't define the term Freemason from Mason. Mason is just one who is a builder. Mm -hmm. Should we prove this to you? Let's go right here. Let us prove this to you, right? Let's Let's look at the word um, Mason, right? Let's look at the word Mason right here. You see the word Mason, 1723? So we'll find out what is a true Mason. You understand? What's a true Mason? You see, by as soon as you say Mason, the word has gotten so, it's a Kia, Kia, right? Kia, right? It's Kia. You see it right there? Kia, right? You see a cur, right? right? And, 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 what, and what, what does it say? It says wall, side, a wall. A, of a house or chamber, the size of the altar, right? The size of the altar, right? That's what it says right there, right? The size of the altar. That's, that's one of the roots right there. Now let's back this up, right? Because I had a 68 next to it. Now I have 68 right here. Let's go to 68, right? 68. Evan, Evan. You see that word? Evan. Now, 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 overstand this, brothers and sisters. Evan links with Ibn Hakim. Ibn Hakim. Uh huh. And now, our website, we have the good is, we have the good is Kibur Nagas, Yovas, as well as the Wallace Budge, Queen of Sheba and only son Minulik. You have Aleph, Beit, right, and Noon. Noon, uh, like the final Noon, right? So Aleph, A, B, N, A, B, N, Eben, right? Eben, and it's from the root right here, Eb, um, um, Bina, 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 like Bina, Bina, like Bina, like on the Kabbalistic tree, the Bina, you understand, the Bina, you understand, the, the Bane, you get Bane, you get sun out of there, you get sun out of that word too. What does it mean right here? It's through the meaning to build. So the Evan is a builder. Understand that the Evan is a builder. You understand? One who is a builder. That's why in the first part we touched on builder. And you know the psalm which says that the stone which the builders refuse. You see, the stone which the builders refuse is his imperial majesty. His imperial majesty is that stone which the builders refuse. Now they have these rabble, rabble pages out here. You know, and that's the stone. This is the stone that the builders refuse. Here we go right here. The stone which the builders refuse. And now foolish people are slandering. Are slandering this. You know, because they just can't imagine that from 
this place from Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying, can really come the light of the true and living God. Mm hmm And that's the real shame of it. And that racism is so deep. They'll say, I'm not a racist, I'm not a... But they don't really understand how deep it goes. It's, it's even almost become genetical. You understand genetical. This is why they got eugenics going on. Right? And so now they're trying to compare this with this. You never see his majesty in any of these rituals wearing any sort of an apron. You understand? He has not been given any order. You understand? From Scottish Rite or York Rite or any of that Luciferian so-called Freemasonry. You understand? But yes, the Masons did bow to him as the builders had to bow to David, as the builders had to bow to great King Solomon. You understand? Ain't nothing strange. You understand? Ain't nothing strange about that. So now they say his famous hand sign, right? That We showed you that already. You understand? If we were to show you that, you understand, um, I mean, we we'll have to actually pull that up. When we look at the Kabbalah, you understand, or the Kabbalah, as ones will call it. Remember, there was the Kabbalah of the Jews. That's Tiferet. That's Tiferet. In the Hebrew, this stands for Tiferet. Look it up. Tiferet. You understand? Tiferet, which is beauty. Then look that word up in the Bible and see where that word appears. And see how closely linked that is with what we know of the truth of his imperial majesty of Ketamawi, Haile Selassie. But then before his majesty, you don't see this. You see, it was Alistair Crowley that adopted this for the OTO. See, Alistair Crowley, what he did is, is he, is he kind of, um, it's like a gypsy type of patchwork of little things here and there. They do this a whole lot with a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? You see it being done with hip-hop. We know that it was black. It came from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? The black Jews, the lost sheeple. You know what But now ones like Eminem taking over. It's like a hostile takeover, a covert takeover. Now they show Angela Merkel right here. You know what I'm saying? But we already pointed out that there is a, a female uh, Freemasonic order. But not Freemasonic order. Actually, it's a sorority. And we was doing some search, and we saw that they did this sorority. Now they have people doing it, you know, doing it like this and so forth and so on, which is not the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's not the, you don't see as much you do that like heart sign. They say, oh, it's the heart sign, so forth and so on. You, you, you know what I'm saying? They say that it's the heart sign. Now, what we're going to look up, we're going to look up uh, a, a Tiferet right here. Let's look up Tiferet, right, Tiferet. Right, let's look up Tiferet right here, and then we can show you better. You know what I'm saying? We can show you better like this, so you can see it, and then you have to do a little bit of a Bible, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a Bible uh, study, you know what I'm saying? To really now connect that word, you know what I'm saying? Connect that word. You, you see it right here, you know what I'm saying? You see, uh, this, is, this is pretty good right here, at least it's pretty clear. Well, it seems kind of small here. Well, let's just copy this, uh, copy this image, right? Let's copy that image. Let us save that right there because we might have to use it in the future again, right? And let's back that up, right? Back that up. Cause we want to show you and prove to you what this hand sign really is about. But they don't know these things. But now, now that we say these things, now they're trying to incorporate it. But there's, you know, there's, there's much more that they don't know. They just don't know what they don't know because they don't have a love of the truth. They have never repented, you understand, of the sins of their forefathers. It's, 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 it's that six right here. You understand? You, know, you, you notice what that six is, right? It's at the very same position that you see His Majesty do the very same uh, hand sign, right? And you notice that hand sign only appears after Alistair Crowley, who some say worked for the British Crown, after he adopted this particular symbol, you understand, or co-opted it really, more more correctly, you know, it was it was uh, co-opted into their into their um, into their order, you understand, or into their disorder, you understand. So you see it right there as well, you understand, which is another symbol right there. You see the tip for that, and you see how it's linked with uh, uh, a ray. You understand? Remember, all this come out of ancient Obia, ancient Ethiopia, right? So we want to show you this. Got some crazy other stuff here all over the place, right? 
and you can see this right okay that there, there we go all right that's that right so let's go back to this page right here and let us paste this right here in so we can show you what this hand sign is really about but then you have different interpretations of this it depends on what particular order you understand know what particular rites or what particular uh, rituals you understand know are used and they cannot prove or really they can't prove it because it's not true but his imperial majesty does not show up in any of their funny rituals but they have co-opted this hand sign since the time of his imperial majesty since his majesty reveal it you understand know what they do is they steal it you know, or attempt to rather steal it so here we go again you understand know when we look at the different pictures of his majesty with this particular hand sign right there right let's move this right here it's Tifere right now when you look up the word beauty you understand know beauty you'll see Tifere as well we might do another 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 study you understand know, on that as well so here's what we're talking about right here we're speaking about this right here you understand know because this will be more the knees right and this will be more the feet you understand know, and then there's that hidden one right there right the hidden one really will be at the heart overseen that will be at the heart chakra right or the righteousness the Christ ch chakra so you see that right there like ray like ra how ra with the dot in the center and 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 there now why is so dangerous a lot of this knowledge is so dangerous or has has proven so so disastrous is because of those who have co-opted this you understand and have moved out of the order and the discipline of it in righteousness that's where you get the mason to freemason you understand like my man used to say they are free until they are full and and and, and very nearly they are at that point of um foolishness so this hand sign was co-opted you understand such as the Anglo Merkel but in her order we think if it's the same as that fraternity or sorority rather all I think all white woman uh, Greek sorority some of y'all might know the exact name of the sorority you understand this hand sign right once again you can see how it's been um, co-opted from his imperial majesty the majesty used it first and they didn't even know anything about it they didn't even use it you understand this is also another hand sign coming out of ancient Egypt you understand a salutation it's what's called in the Bible the hand sign of the salutation hand sign because when you give that hand sign that means that listen I come to you in peace I don't have a weapon in my right hand you, you over this is what that hand sign basically meant you over and you'll see it in some of the old maybe I don't know movies or whatnot like that but this is what was done in the old world in the old Ethiopia you know when you make that hand sign as you approach somebody's house that means I come in peace you over saying I don't have any weapon you over saying but it's also there's another layer to that also when so about the hand of the Lord you know what I'm saying and the right angle the right angle of it there's the same hand sign that everybody that takes an oath in America basically make two you over saying on that sort of level but it actually comes from the ancient Tobia and ancient Ethiopia now we have a little more time in this so the time is is, is running on this particular clip right here because what we wanted to um, sum up on is the Jabulin, right? That that ja is not from Jabulin. You know what I'm saying? And we already pointed that out. So here they say Masonic Reagan. You know and this is to target the Rastafari. You understand? Know so we should, you know, make strong prayers in the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach, in the name of Girtai Yesu, to protect our brothers and sisters and protect the community. You understand? Know so this is what, how they do it. You understand? Know by this suggestion. When they say it has been what suggested by who has it been suggested? Obviously by the author thereof. That the word ja comes from the term jabula. Then they try to link it in with their ritual, but they do leak out something by saying that the leadership of Alistair Crowley. You know what I'm saying? And just like um, 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 what's the name? Pikey Albert Pikey. These are all latter day Decepticons. Now on that suggestive point, right? So we touched on the Ben and the Eben. You see that connection with the Ben and the Eben, the building and the stone and Eben Hakim. So when we look in the scripture and we look in the Kivar Neges, as we're here in the Kivar Neges, 
it makes it all very much clearer. So when you look at things like La Labella, like La Labella, they're like, how was this built? It must have been built by extraterrestrials because they don't, they don't regard that we would be smart enough you know, and are able to build such a thing. Now, right here, I want to show you this, and we'll probably sum up right here, right? Sum up right here. Let's go to this paragraph right here. And when they had vaunted themselves, this is in chapter 100 of the Kippur Neges, right? Speaking of the fallen angels, the rebellious angels. When they had vaunted themselves in this manner, Hashem, or Ha Elohim, Ruku, the lover of men, of humanity, said to them, If now ye go astray as far as this in transgressing my word, and, and what is the word of God the Father? It is Yeshua HaMoshiach, Yesus Christus, Ketachin. The wrong will be upon your own heads. This is where they're heading. Unless they amazingly repent. You understand? For Gehenna, you understand, or Jahannam, or hell, or the hell and fire and sulfur and fervent heat and whirlwind shall be your habitation until the great day. Ye shall be kept in chains which can neither be loosened nor broken forever. Right? But if you keep truly my word, if you truly keep the way of Yeshua HaMoshi of Gittai Yeses, right? And ye do my commandment, ye shall sit upon my right hand and upon my left. For everyone who hath conquered is mighty, and he who is conquered shall be overpowered. Now, Satan is a regime Yehun. We're reading right here. Now, Satan hath no power whatsoever. That's the truth. He don't have any power. You understand? He jacks your power. You understand? Your life. You understand? Your soul. For he hath only what he maketh to germinate in the mind. By what? Suggestion. You understand? Suggestion. And he cannot grasp firmly. And he cannot perform anything. And he cannot beat. And he cannot drag. And he cannot seize. And he cannot fight. He can only make what? Thoughts to germinate. Remember the parables of Christ?